we got it. He's clogging that lane. We actually just have double plant food. But I want to do it with magnifying grass. <laughs> I want to do it so big. Okay, guys, we have guaranteed lethal, but I, I have to BM him. I'm not, I'm not, not, I'm not like gonna. <laughs> We'll, we'll win next turn, even if this doesn't work. This is so much damage, though. What's going on, everybody? This is Fry. So today, so today we're going to be trying this sort of interesting, creative idea. Someone actually sent this uh, idea to me, and I adjusted the deck to my own liking. The idea is to make an aggro chomp Zillow deck with onion rings. So the onion rings is a little bit weird in an aggro deck because this is actually a very late game card. An aggro deck means you're trying to put as much damage on your opponent's face uh, as possible in the smallest amount of time. Uh, so why would you run onion rings in an aggro deck? And there's two reasons. First of all, this can be used as a finisher. Uh, and thank you so much, Ice, Ice, Baby, so cold, so Dry this spec sucks. Thank you so much, Ice, for your kind words. Eight months. Um, so the first of all, this can be used as a finisher because if you play this together with one of your little buddies on turn five That can do eight damage in one lane, which is a ridiculous amount of damage uh, To finish off your opponent again with onion rings The second reason is is because the way that you beat aggro decks is by uh, controlling them. You play your Haunted Pumpkin really strong thing on turn one, but if they have a summoning or they have a Bungie Plumber, this gets removed. You play a strong play on two, uh, they remove that and then they get into the late game with you. So this will sort of give us a backup plan against the weakness of its of this deck, which would be control decks. Uh, in order to actually beat control decks, Onion Rings is really, really strong against control decks. This control decks, if you stall for the first few turns, man, and then they hit you with an Onion Rings and then they start putting four fours on the field, including free four fours and little buttons. Uh, it's going to be really, really, really difficult for zombies to control that. So you can actually be control decks in that way. I'm sort of not 100% sure if I'm going to, like, if I see a crazy hero like Professor Brainstorm or Boogaloo, which are very likely going to be control decks if I just will pass, pass every single turn and play it like an Onion Rings deck. Maybe if I have an Onion Rings in my starting hand. I'll give that a whack and see how it goes, since again, onion rings are really going to be strong against the crazy heroes. They're not going to be able to deal four damage to everything. Um, the onion rings really also does work well with a lot of the cards in this deck, like Bonk Choy is going to have five attack instead of just being a 4-4, four, four, it'll be a 5-4. Uh, the, the magnifying grass is going to be ridiculous, because this will be a 4-4+, four, four plus. it'll still gain on top of that uh, attack uh, attack based on whatever uh, sun you're making that turn, which is ridiculous. You'll even have, like, strike through, like, three cost, 4-4, four, four, strike through jack-o'-lantern that grows. Same thing with if it's on turn six, which it always is going to be turn six. Apple Saucer is a two cost, 4-4, four, four, strike through. So just ridiculous finishers. Uh, once you play the onion rings, even adding four damage to the field on turn five ain't that bad we got bonus attacks of course that's uh, one of the strongest parts of chumzilla aggro hope you guys enjoy let's see how this deck does I, I actually have a good feeling about this one let's get right into it chumzilla isn't typically the best character for aggro decks uh, for two reasons first of all her superpowers don't work very well with aggro one of them is heal one of them is hole of floor you're not necessarily going to be getting a lot of face damage or at least clearing up lanes like solar flare does all of her powers a lot of her powers are gonna be you know making lanes clear i guess you have scorch you have chump Solo super can clear lane but anyway the little buddies are also useful in aggro decks just to protect your guy on the field i'm probably gonna ditch one here uh, it would be really nice to get a one drop. I, I think it's better to try to get a one drop than go for this. I wonder if I should even go for a one drop again. Getting ones. I guess this is since it's Professor Brainstorm who has a little bit of a hard time dealing three damage. I guess I'll go with that. Uh, too bad we didn't get a Haunted Pumpkin. Again, Haunted Pumpkin doesn't necessarily live. Brainstorm is. Maybe the best hero, best equipped hero at dealing with it, because between backup dancers to chump lock, summoning to counter it, and then bungee plumber, which is just sort of auto include, seems pretty good. Uh, so the one with less health we're gonna put here. We don't want the barrel to explode and then sort of take this out. We'll see if the opponent has fireworks, in which case we'll just develop the strike through jack o' lantern. I actually have onion rings here. I think this is worth it, even though we have onion rings in hand. Let's see which superpower Quasar conjured. There's Bungie. It's okay. 
That wasn't gonna do damage anyhow. Uh, happens to be our Chomzilla superpower is dead until this barrel explodes, because we're not gonna use it to make a barrel go boom. The plant food is is pretty strong here. I also want to try to try to preserve as many minions as possible. I don't really want to make a minion play, so I mean this is four damage strike through, and then it'll set this up to have five attack. Ridiculous. Brainstorm again right now needs a fruitcake to take this out, or it's that does not do anything. Like why are you even playing the backup dancer set? It gets us down to three. Okay, okay. <laughs> Really? Really? That's what Quasar conjures? That when Quasar makes when Quasar makes one copy of Super Stench. Dude, oh, it's so annoying. Now all the lanes are clogged too with deadly minions. In fact, this barrel can just explode and clear our field at any point in time. Holy Do you know what? Screw this guy. Screw this guy. We're clearing every lane. This is actually a good thing. Never mind. We're not, I'm not play, I'll play these little buddies next turn. Believe you me, these little buddies. Yeah, binary stars. Nice job. Great. So you get four damage, and then you're dead. Congratulate. Why did... Oh. I actually just outplayed him so bad. Get out freaking played. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, this is so great. This is great. Jeez. I actually can chomp here, too. So we'll chomp this. Oh man, this is only a 4-4, four, four, which is fine. Maybe I'll say, well, I'll, I should do the chomp already. Man, this is... <laughs> I just outplayed him so hard. You spin me right around, baby, right around. You could spread these to two different lanes because the team-ups are there. It also, beam me up and teleport really plays around all this damage. I know this is a little bit awkward, but I'm actually gonna be less considerate to the block meter since the opponent's block meter is empty anyway and we're sort of coming down the home stretch and just make it harder for beam me up to counter both of these poppies now we'll get eight eight damage regardless you think he has a huge valk now he's running barrel of ba barrel, barrel of dead beards he's running binary stars this does play better around valk as well there's beam me up so we played around that mar marvelously what else you got Nothing. See if he has a one drop. He ran Quasar. Oh, he got baseball zombie from Eureka. Okay, it's fine. But then what? It took up more resources from him, and now we have strike throughs and all kinds of stuff. In fact, get wrecked. In fact, get. Oh, that's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Poor baseball zombie. This is three damage strike through right now. We are in freaking fantastic shape. We're just playing all this on the field. It's all play. Especially since the team-ups are spread, it really sets up this turn to be more effective. Things have too much health, by the way. We are not... These two cards can get fuel clear by, like, a chickening, but it's just not strong enough spending four, four brains on all this. So the strike-through minion goes here. Um, we'll put the one with more health here. I guess this goes in front because we still want the team-up to be maintained. And... Of, I guess this one we'll put in the back since it's weaker. It always dies. The four four is not necessarily going to die wherever this gravestone is. Right now we have two strike through minions on there. That is too slow. It's not going to be good enough. I'll I'll play PVZ three again probably when it comes out like full release. We seriously outplayed that guy so bad. <laughs> I think he made a big mistake playing the binary stars while he had a deadly barrel on the field. Especially when you're playing it to the right of it, because then it just dies with getting almost no value. It, it made the Quasar do two more damage. Congratulations. You think he was running Valk? It's possible. Against Valk decks, you are never safe down. Deck's actually good. Aggro, aggro solar decks are good. Chumzilla, again, the reasons I was explaining. Chumzilla's superpowers are not very good with aggro, even though they seem to really get it done there. The Scorch was really clutch. And then the three drops are also really weak. You don't have that Poison Ivy or even that um, Zapricot is a Kabloom card. Like, you don't you don't have those strong three drops. Even Health Nut is better than the three drops running in this deck. Running, like, Magnifying Grass, which can be good, especially in the Lycan. 
One, two, three, and a little bit of block. This is fine. Nice free free way to preserve one of your aggro minions on the field. I feel like if he has trapper territory, it's probably better for the Bong Choi to die than for the split pee. So I'll do Bong Chai on the ground. Not a lot of people run trapper anyway. Just go super. Against Captain Combustible. You are never safe, that's fine. I, I wonder how much we should even worry about these little infinity clones. We actually rolled double three, so pretty sure we're in the money now. Here comes the money. Here we go. Here comes the money. A scorch would be ridiculous right now, and the split pea is gonna proc our block. You proc my block. Smoke bomb. See here. No! Interesting. He smoke bombs for one damage, but it doesn't make the tray. Oh, that's awkward. We actually get the Scorch. Is this as good of a Scorch as we get? We're not going to have an extra sun to play this anytime soon. We really want to be able to use Jack of Lantern next turn, etc. So it really prevents three damage. That was good. Hmm. Jack-o'-lantern in two looks awfully good now against this con man. He only does one damage to us. That is a very, very sad play. Looks like this is a pirate deck. <laughs> I don't get it. This is really strong. None of the blocks, I guess Super Stench is, well, it just kills the Jack-o'-lantern. I, I would almost like him to use Super Stench here so it doesn't get harsher later on. What if con man was an imp? Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Elzar, welcome back. How you doing? This has been a long time. He didn't actually block on the four damage. So the, first of all, the four damage hits. Uh, Jack-o'-lantern doesn't grow, but it's still two damage strike through. He's adding some real pressure there now. It's a little bit sad. We have some healing in hand, so this is a lot less scary. He's down to seven. He's at seven empty. We're at six full. And look at our, our field and his field. Hmm, this feels a little scary, too. I almost need to, like, block this now. Wow, I really don't want to play even play this. I'm gonna draw cards. I really? Oh, well, no, the split P anyway. Prox is block. Okay, I'll just play a poppy. This is not gonna kill us, probably. This is anyway proxing our block, which is a little bit sad. I think this dying might be a good thing. We're at eight. Swash. We'll be down to one health here now. In fact, <laughs> that's a good job. It's a great job. That makes this game so much fun. Now we're at sitting on seven health. He's gonna be sitting on one. Turns out our superpowers are doing a lot of work here. Heal would have been fine too, and heals for four. Instead of preventing five. Uh, bonus attack wins probably in three lanes. I'd love if he fronted this too. He's probably not going to. Real cookie. Doggy Blue, thank you so much. Just 21 months. Man, we're getting some long-term viewers here. Question is, what is the play? I guess the plant food is always effective. It just doesn't necessarily work here. I, I think this is this is this has gotta be it. This has got to be. Is there anything we need to play around here by playing Poppy? I mean, I guess we might as well. I know Poppy bonus attack wins if somehow he clears our field here, which uh, is not possible. L let's just do this. I should probably put the Poppy behind so we stop pinging our own block meter there. Bounce, congratulations. So now we still have two shots at his face. And we'll, ha we'll have the plant food now next turn. Just, we have plant food with the... Apple saucer next turn. So this will either win or proc the block. And we still will have three lanes to plant for. It's all academic right now. This deck looks like it's kicking some tuchus right now. It's nice how that we played much more like a regular aggro deck. Pressure was just way too much for him. 
Uh, in the first game, we actually got the onion rings, and the onion rings was <laughs> the onion rings was so clutch. I should actually make the onion rings. Um, that that first game is a really good highlight intro game. Thank you so much. Who's subscribing now? Who do we got? Kostja, who's been around for twenty freaking months. Thank you so much, Kostja. Did those little buddies consent to be part of my deck now? Uh, we don't extend human protections to little buddies, I'm sorry. In fact, sometimes I just kill them for fun. See highlight video number 27, I don't remember when it was, 27. Um, no, 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 I don't want to concede. I don't want to play it there either. I was trying to think if it goes on heights. It's probably better to play the first one on heights, actually, because uh, Black Hole then won't... Okay, that's fine. I'm just thinking against Black Hole, this is a little bit better to just get the immediate damage and not have him block two turns with the Black Hole instead of one. Yeah, against Rust Ball, he doesn't have really have that much else that affects the ground lane. That affects the ground lane. It's nice he uses super on this. This is like, okay, turn one's gone, that's fine. Four ones. I think this deck is extremely strong against Rust Bolt. Uh, I do want that pinging us. I do want that pinging us, so we're going to kill it after the fact instead of before. This is a great play. More superpowers. Again, getting our Chompzilla, getting our Scorch, it, it'll come in handy, even in this matchup. Now we have a full block meter. This man got nothing. Well, buddy, could be really, really strong here. There's a server error right now. I explained in the title of the stream how to get around it. Just gotta turn off your Wi-Fi. And then turn it on once you're in game. That's probably some kind of leap play. Let's just play this on heights and keep putting the pressure on. We might play beam me up. It's still not worth it to just blast this without poppy. That's okay. The 401 is stronger. Hopefully it doesn't have beam me up. It's a leap play. It's a little leap play. <sighs> we could have gotten Scorch there. That wasn't even that good of a play. Uh, this is not useful yet. It's really not going to be useful until we play Onion Rings, or unless he does some insane, ungodly amount of damage to us. Turquoise Skull does not activate yet. There's no real way of killing that, though, so that's just going to transform again. So I guess we draw cards. Jeez. We have to draw here. This 01 is annoying until we get Elderberry. This will be a really good target for next turn. I think just in terms of keeping this lane clear, this is probably a legitimate use of Lil Buddy. It protects a 4-1, which again, he needs like an entire rocket science to play around. Uh, so let's go like this. I think this pinging our block meter eventually will be good too. Uh, I definitely don't play Waste Apple Saucer to prevent two damage to face. The trophies in front of my face? Yeah, sorry, that's like the jar. Depends where I lean. I have big range of motion! What you got? Jesus. <laughs> Yeesh. We're just gonna have to live and die by this leap, by this leaping guy. If he leaps a couple more times, I mean, he's just gonna zombie us to death. No, I wanna concede. Whenever I right click, which I, that's not my normal mouse, it happens. Jesus. I can't even opt to try to kill that right now. I'm probably just gonna Elderberry. It's a good opportunity. It's a good opportunity. Maybe if we kill these two, I can like Chompzilla power this one next turn or something. If we get it. This is awkward. Oh, pumpkin plant food. Yeah, but that wouldn't have helped. Again, I would have been able to kill this with pumpkin plant food if he had not drawn a card there. We can't rely on him not being able to draw a card. If he has a teleport, he kills the the, the, the pumpkin, and our whole play goes down the garbage. So maybe, pumpkin plant food might work next turn, depending on what he gets. That leap does nothing. That blocks. The scorch is completely useless. It does... It preserves one health on an Elderberry, which we can heal either way. This is five. Ugh, please don't get chop. 
I'd love this elderberry to hit one more time before dying. If that happens. We'll see what six drop he gets. <laughs> Dino Roar, congratulations. Yes, uh, we actually only have <laughs> four sun. It's actually pretty good here. We don't have, well, no, Haunted Pumpkin itself trades with it. This could work. Mm -mm. Too bad I didn't play that on the ground. I would have gotten scorched big, big time. The other play is just to plant food to get six plus six. This is, if he didn't, listen, if he got chop and for some stupid reason he was saving it, this is a horrible play, but otherwise, th this is just gonna win. He didn't get chop. And he already used his nerf. So the other two powers are either heal, which I think he would've used. I, I think the most likely case is that he has rock wall. That's the only one that really was not playable last turn. This has gotta work. No, he got heal. Okay. So at least we kill this guy from not transforming. This turns into a 7, which is a little sad here. But he's down to 3. Ugh. What does he get? Because the big question is, what does he get? Garg throwing Garg. I think that's better than Nurse, to be honest. We're just going to go after it like this. I, I think we're actually in fantastic shape. Especially since he does not have chop. Um, a little bit awkward is that we're gonna put the one here. I guess it doesn't matter at this point. We have to put the choppable minion first here. And the other minion we're gonna put second. Uh, the question is where do we put the little buddy? This is gonna go here. Where do we put the little buddy? I guess if this gets chopped... We'd like the 3-2 to be the one that lives. I think that really, again, since he's getting a superpower here. This does play around shop, though. He can also get Zombot in 4, which would suck. But the nurse, again, if he throws a nurse, it's not gonna... It's gonna be too slow. This should do it. This has gotta be... Again, you have to put the 5-3 first, because this procs the block. If it doesn't proc the block, we win. If it does, then he can't chop the 3-2. There's Rolling Stone. Congratulations. So, he already... Wait. Chop doesn't save him. Nerf you already got, and heal you already got. It's guaranteed lethal. This is actually this is actually one million percent guaranteed lethal. There's nothing you can do. There's nothing. There's no no way for him to survive here. No, Zombot. Zombot is the only way. Zombot is the one out. Are you kidding me? Are you? Are you kidding me? There's no way. There's no way! <laughs> Octo Zombie! Knight! Is this still winnable? No! No! That was the highlight of the century for the record. No, he has all four lanes clogged. Oh no, he, he wins in two now. He wins in two, it's guaranteed, well, no, we can heal for four, no, we can heal for exactly four, it's guaranteed lethal now. No, we can scorch, we can scorch. It's still winnable. These are all playable too, these are all playable. <gasps> we have just enough. We have just, we have just enough. He has to not have a leap. Jeez. Wait. He's doing seven. We have to not ping our, our ourself too much. No, we're good, we're good, we're good. But he gets Zombot. We need like a, oh. We would need some kind of strike through, like a plant food or something. No, we're not gonna, oh. Some BS right there. <laughs> GG. Pure skill. Pure freaking skill.
I'm just writing down the stupid highlight. Zombot was the only out, I think. Maybe Rodeo Guard would have saved him. Rodeo might have also. No, Rodeo would not have saved him. We get still get well no, he can move the the, the Rodeo can Rodeo the um he could have moved the apple to lane one. Rodeo Guard would have saved him as well. That's a highlight. <sighs> that was crazy. <laughs> Wait, that was that I I we we won two games already, right? So much background noise today. That was Jeez. What's the background? I'm streaming in a new place. This is setup number two. I'm so happy I have a, comp a, a laptop that can stream because every once in a while when I travel, or j today's just a weird day for me, uh, whatever the, pro the property I live in is being shown in this new buyer or whatever. Uh, here's Rust Bolt. I think we have to go the aggro route against Rust Bolt anyway, so let's ditch Onion Rings. We'll ditch little buddy too. Uh, this is actually better. Oh, that's a that is a haunted pumpkin would be better, but this is a almost perfect hand. You, you, this is way better than the Rolling Stoneable, dude. We would like in, in case he rolls like three three two, we'd like the four damage to hit next turn instead of the two. So this is always better in lane four. You also in general want his minions to hit before yours so you can use a superpower to make a trade better. Is this font not the normal Friday month font? This is a different computer, so the settings and the fonts and uh, you know the images on the screen, everything's just a little bit different. Is this the same guy? Is this the same guy? Oh, I have the name chopped off on YouTube. I should probably fix that. Hmm. You spin me right round, baby. No, I just have to do this. There. I should just make this smaller, actually. Anyway, that's a sumo. Uh, let's just do this. It's sad, but this is our life. It just means we'll either get three damage to face or we're, we'll trade even with the 2-2. Two, two. I, I think this is going to be better next turn. In fact, this actually counters the mascot, which it's sad, but we might still do it. Wow, he actually left a 3-2 live. <laughs> I think now that he has three minions on the field, uh, we'll just counter. We'll just go. Uh, if he goes mascot in two, we'll just go split P in two. Nice, we got a pumpkin as well. In fact, it would, it would end up being pumpkin in two. He's still going to go for the mascot. Crazy hand. Look at this with the... No, it's Simo. Crud. Big crud. This man is a big piece of crud. I wonder if we're going to need the, the the magnifying grass for the late game. Like, We can either play magnifying grass, which we'll trade with one of these. It's just another Sumo, obviously. Unless he got... Unless he got Pogo. This could be two-cost Pogo. Um, probably, hmm, that's actually a really tough decision. I'm actually going to keep the, keep the magnifying grass. It's a little bit awkward, but I, I think we might really need the magnifying grass in our hand for later. It's Simo. It's free, is it free Simo? We'll see if the brains go down after this ability activates. It can't be Pogo, why not? Two. Oh no, sorry, I thought he played, sorry. That was my fault. 
I thought I was getting confused between Brain Vendor for some reason and Cosmic Sports Star. That was just a brain fart. It couldn't have been Pogo. It had to be Sumo. In which case, even if he played Cosmic Sports Star, he wouldn't have the two brain. It, it's that was just a complete brain fart. Rockwell. He's not shoving anything into his arm wrestler, which is weird. This actually dies to Scorch. In fact, this makes the Apple Saucer live too. That was not a good play. He should not have moved this one. You gotta make all these trades happen. He should have moved lane two here and actually grown the arm wrestler would have been the play. He done goofed that one. We have to go for the onion rings. I, I wonder if I just plan food here. I mean, we could go for the damage. We kind of don't want to feed him cards, though. Hmm. I guess this doesn't grow that much from the Onion Rings against Rust Bowl. Like, against Brainstorm, having four health is great. Against Rust Bowl, I, he could put another guy in front of this. I think this is fine. So let's just play Haunted Pumpkin. I could play Pumpkin here, too. I think we're going to need to Onion Rings and then use the humongous Magnifying Grass. This is such a cool combo uh, to actually finish this guy off because he's going to be down to 10 health now, which is, if he has a Beam Me Up if we can, or a Rocket, we got to go for the OTK. This is actually an OTK Magnifying Grass under this these exact circumstances. He's able to control us with Sumo's the first few turns. Drawing cards here is so good because that just means we get more minions for Onion Rings. Couldn't I have gotten two little buddies there instead of two plan foods? Are you freaking kidding me, man? <laughs> what is going on today? That was the that was there were the only two cards in this deck that don't get hit by onion rings. I guess Astrocado would have been just as uh, we'd still rather get Astrocado here and actually play it. <sighs> Jesus. I wonder if keeping lanes is clear is our priority. Or if doing face damages. It's a tough decision. Probably keeping him under control is better now since we're we only have like one win condition and that's OTK Bank. He is protected! Who even runs escape through time? That's the real question. So that trades with the onion rings now. It's not a horrible play. It's not a great one either. He <laughs> just rolled double threes. <laughs> Man's not feeling it tonight. Uh, do we Elderberry in one? You spin me. We definitely do not want him to get in cards, so this is actually the play. Believe it or not. We can also... Fr well, we don't have to Elderberry. We could heal and plant food for six damage. As opposed to this one does five. And we, we really need to use... I, I think that we need to use the plant foods whenever we have them. I know this can get rocketed. I think this is still worth it. Yeet. We also don't want him rocketing this and then getting more card draw. Card draw is... The, the mutual card draw is going to kill us, not him. Okay, this is great. We got a free six since Now he's down to eight. Oh, this is really good. You can probably hear a bird in the background who's going crazy. You spin me right round. I keeping this lane open is really good. We also have this is turn six come this is turn seven. So we actually have the mag play. Oh, he rolled a little high there. So we can't really go for that. We're gonna go for the strike throughs probably. Man, this this hand sucks because I, I don't know if we can really afford to play the the magnifying grass. I am vampire. Ha 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 ha. I know this is awkward, but let's just take the damage. Let's just take the damage wherever we can take it. Wherever we can get it. I know Chop. It's super awkward playing. We just don't play this. We'll take the four damage. doesn't matter. Next play will be better. He actually would have been able to prevent all damage now. That just keeps his lane clear. Oh, we're good. So this will either bring him down to three or proc his block. They're equally good right now. In fact, it's probably better to proc the block. So now we're just going to win with OTK Mag. I, this is, like, such an amazing example of exactly why to run Onion Rings in this deck. 
Sumo is a really solid control card. I mean, it, it's less good than it used to be, but in a, you know, he's running some weird sports deck with Vimpire. He's probably like running like a Vimpire going viral, which I explained in the Beastie tier list why that's a horrible idea. But um, we got him. He's clogging that lane. We actually just have double plant food. But I want to do it with magnifying grass. <laughs> I want to do it so big. Okay, guys, we have guaranteed lethal, but I, I, I have to BM him. I'm not, I'm not, not, I'm not like gonna. <laughs> we'll, we'll win next turn, even if this doesn't work. This is so much damage, though. <laughs> Why did he play? <laughs> what is he doing? Maybe he has two bonus attacks in hand. He was just trying to, like, OTK us himself. Oh, he's, he's not the smith. Oh, you're right. Oh, he tried to <laughs> weed spray there. Yes, we did it, though. We won with BM value. Look at that, 13 damage. Amazing. Oh, you guys are right. He got the ancient vampire from Haunted Pumpkin. I'm having big brain farts today. Keep it together, Fry. That was amazing. Okay, so that is the that's the highlight intro. Ain't no doubt about it. I, I feel like that validated this deck concept uh, completely right there. You should have played the Astrocado in 3 and the Applesauce in 4, then you tank the 6 damage. Block with the Astrocado and then win in lane 4 with the Strike Through Saucer. Oh, and not proc Zombot. We could afford to take the four damage, but did he have anything that would have been able to add damage that turn? Uh, maybe you're right. Where the heck did Rust Blood get Garg through and Garg from anyway? Uh, space in. Okay, here's Super Brains. I love a one drop. A one oh, man. This is a freaking great hand. I'll even get rid of this one. This, this is the dream hand, is actually two, two, two ones and two twos, because we're just gonna combo on turn three. This is the dream hand. The question is, do I take out Headstone Carver or do I just go face? Um, again, Super Brains, who has no small removal. That's tough. This is a whole lane that's going to be empty. I think because of how good of a trade this is, we're actually going to take out the Headstone Carver. We really don't want his pirates going nuts on us. That's kind of probably the way he'll, he would be able to counter this strat. Okay. Is it 3-1 and one or 4-1 and one now? I'm also supposed to write down this highlight. So this will be... This will be game four and perfect. Awkward. It's running cell phone. Man, it's super weird. I see people just joining the stream right now and saying, Fry, why is there onion rings in an aggro deck? And the answer is it can be an aggro play on five with Lil Buddy, or it can give you, if you're playing against a control deck, it can actually make you win that matchup. You actually play a little differently, uh, like we did last turn. Are, are we three and one or four and one? We're three and one? Okay. Get it together, Fry. Get it together. This is weird, but I'm just going to play all over the ground because we have the Scorch. There's really not much he's going to be able to do on the ground. It's just like laser base Alpha, and who cares? So this is a really strong play. Stealing Block Meter is very, very good against this deck. That's how you're going to beat this deck, actually. We're pinging our own Block Meter two times here. <laughs> so proc the block. Nice. Elderberry looks really good in four now. Bong Choi is the best target for Elderberry. He gets that three damage in, very, very strong for one drop, and then the sad two gets covered. 
Uh, I'll, I'll consider plant fooding here as well. Oh, if this is a pogo. The question is, do we just play this dry now instead of evolving it, since Pogo is so likely? It is a pirate deck, so what did he play last turn? I'm so spaced out. <laughs> what did he play last turn, guys? He played Monkey Pirate. So on turn three, he played Monkey, so he probably... That's better than Swat. He might be playing Swashbuckler. Let's say, since if it's a Pogo... If it's a Pogo and he has mugs, and now he's forced to bounce the Elderberry so he doesn't get the mug value, and then the Astrakata's better next turn. Plus, since it's a pirate deck, it's not necessarily it's not necessarily Pogo. This is ex this is high risk, high reward, and if it's Pogo, this is very sad. <laughs> I was not expecting Trapper though. If you want to know why Pogo outclasses Trapper in every situation, I mean, just check this out. So now we get the th just ungodly five damage, and there's no point in healing yet. We'll actually probably get a heal this game at some point. Let's see if he has Mug here. Mug is so bad that we win. Actually, Mug is guaranteed lethal for us. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby, right round. Is that another Trapper? What is that gonna be a pogo now? You spin me right round, my Surprise, guaranteed lethal. Four and one. Too slow. The split P shoots me. That's how split P works. I don't know why. What's going on, Fiery Duck? Everything okay? You're saying it didn't hit me? You spin me right around. That was super brains. Damn. This deck. This deck is performing. We have 437 people. Here. Use. Here's another super brain. Is it the same guy? Is it the same guy? Last guy had an A. No. You spin me a right round, baby, right round like a record. Ba I think this is a fine hand. I think we'll look for another one or a two. Even drawing cards won't be bad. You spin me right round. This one that we want does more damage than our turn two play. We'd like this to be earlier, so we'll put it in two. We'll have options to the left and the right either way. You had coffee today. <laughs> Jeez, that's so good. Now look at our turn three play. Ugh. Our turn three play. Hit him with the replay. It's probably either beam me up or an environment. There's no point in really playing little buddy. We'll play it when we're definitely gonna get value from it, as opposed to protecting one of these from beam me up, which doesn't matter. That is so slow. That is like, is that a good control card? Great, you prevented four damage this turn. Now we have two tremendous threats on the field. Tremendous. They're huge. These threats are huge. Congratulations, you really suck like a record baby. <laughs> this is how we do it. This is how we do it. Look at this, just emptying our hand. Donald Fry. Fronald Trunk. <laughs> Uh, we'll get a better scourge than that. It just makes us take one damage and then kills Lil Buddy, which we'll have a scorch, which I think it protects more than a little a little buddy. So we draw cards here first, see what we get. We're in great shape. Like protecting this, for example. This could have been played in a different line. Cards. Why did he play this here though and not here? Because he's playing around Scorch. It's actually smart. The man is smart. 
And then we'll play this next turn in one. We just don't want this dying. So now it's... this is okay. Man, we're in good shape. We're also pinging our own block meter a couple times, which is gonna come in handy. Well, we'll basically get a free block next turn. So, like a, a super, a Chompzilla super next turn will come in handy. Let's see what he gets. Water lane is probably the best case scenario here. He gets toxic, which is pretty toxic. He's down to five. We're going into the turn four now. Uh, should we just go? <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure this puts him away. Like, two damage, immediate two damage is probably better. This is definitely more fun. We also have the double next turn. I don't know what he's going to do on five. He passed turn five. It's going to be like this. It's so awful because this this almost for sure puts him away here. He's not gonna be able to block all of this. What did he possibly have? It would be teleport imp throwing imp. This still usually beats him. He can't have chickening. He's super brains. I I'm gonna go with the smart play instead of the fun play. And you know, if we really need onion rings later, we'll do it. I know we could, it's thinking cat plus a power, and he's not going to get it. He would need exactly double. He'd backup dancers is like, I think the only thing that could. Okay, he got heal. Ah, uh, so that does save him. Mm, you're annoying. It does save him, though. You spin me right. This will be coming handy now. It means he has one fewer minion next turn. We'll go onions chomp, I guess. No regrets. Um, you guys, I, I don't just think that this deck is performing incredibly. We're 6-0 for all practical purposes, okay? The, remember the game we lost? It was the Zombot game. <laughs> that was guaranteed lethal, like, harshly guaranteed lethal. I don't just think this is a good deck. I think that this is revolutionary because one of the best things you can ever do in a card game is run a powerful deck like this one and then take a look at what are that deck's weaknesses and add some cards that will beat the decks that beat your deck. And Onion Rings is just the perfect example of that. Uh, I wonder if we should just be running like more decks like this. I'm trying to think Mega Grow is not necessarily the best aggro class, but you do have aggro Grass Knuckles, which again with the Bullseye is really good, and the Onion Rings with Bullseye as finishers will be fine, and Plant Food, I mean that, that's 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 really good. They don't have Strike Through, but Bullseye is probably the second best thing after Strike Through. Here's Brainstorm. <sighs> hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna go the aggro route here. If brainstorm is exactly controlled and keeping the onion rings was better there, but let's see how this goes. Uh, he actually gets space time. It's so broken. <laughs> so. Not only is that gonna conjure, we're gonna have to take that out. It also just keeps a lane clear. I mean, this itself just prevents three damage this next turn. I, I think we have to go after it, which is so sad. We can't have him conjuring for the rest of the game. It's just not gonna work out. PVZ tweeted about PVZ Heroes. That's amazing, so cool. We're aware of the issues for PVZ Heroes. We're currently investigating why players aren't able to enter the game we'll update with news when it becomes available. Well, it looks like I figured out the problem for them. What did he do? What did he just play? What did he just play? How did he even trade? I was spacing out. He leaped the space against a 3-2. Okay. <laughs> Whatever rocks your socks. We definitely want this to hit both hit face and be a elderberry launch next turn. There's nothing that moves lanes here, right? There is, um, beam, there is exactly Gentleman Beam Me Up. If he has a Beam Me Up, we're in really bad shape, because that means we don't get the Elderberry. Wow. All right, we need a new four. Uh, it it would have been better just to go the Onion Rings route, now that the, that's clear. I wouldn't even mind getting an Onion Rings. Some leap die. I guess this is that game. Okay. 
Oh, you're right, you can buddy Elder. I forgot about that. Oh, I totally forgot about that. That's actually a good reason, to, that's a good synergy in this deck, buddy Elder. I, I didn't even think about that when I was making the deck. Buddy Elder is a great play. Don't try, that's actually not very good because we have a perfect answer to it. We'll do it later. It's still a fine, it's still, the, 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 the trade there, Buddy Elder, did he, he didn't save for Rocket there though, right? Oh, yeah, Wes is fine. In fact, right now, look at our uh, Haunted Pumpkin. The fact we could develop it at that early stage and still not die is kind of best case scenario. I really don't like him leaping this because I think Teleportation Zombie is going to be better than any three drop there. But hey, to each their own. Now we're going to Buddy Elder in four. We're in really good shape now. We're in, 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 in amazing shape. In fact, we have Geyser this turn too, so these are both going to be back to three health. We are in such fantastic, tremendous, tremendous Again, it's four, five, six. This is ridiculously good. Jeez, we're back up to full health as well. There's Pumpkin, enjoy your freaking monster card. I hope that, that really helps you a lot in all of your endeavors. I actually could have made a team up play. Huh, should I have gone for a team up there? Just to be able to open up an extra lane, it, it's fine. You can argue that taking out this 3-3 so he doesn't get a pogo, he doesn't start leaping something, get a Zombot eventually. Oh, this also dies. Huh. We still win, though. We still win. In fact, right, in this case where he didn't block, in fact, putting this in lane 4 made us win, because now, if we would have teamed up, this would have gotten blocked. The block meter was a little bit wonky there. This was going to be the lane which is most likely to actually go phase. If he rolls exactly double, he rolled double 1, so... Uh, there were virtues in the play which ended up coming to fruition. None of his powers uh, kill a 5-3. So we win. Little Buddy Elderberry teamed up, you're right. Like, even just to do that in front of a, um, a, a Jack-O-Lantern and put Little Buddy Elderberry in front of it, so then the next turn that does 8 damage strike through, we should definitely be keeping that more in mind. This deck is ridiculously good. I mean, it's it's completely dominating everybody, except for Zombot Launcher. You can still summoning Zombot. <laughs> I guess he could have summoning and got uh, Gladiator or Su or with was Sumo active. Sumo was active. Could have moved the lane four to lane two. But anyway. It seems like when the it gets lighter, it reflects more light on the background, and then my face becomes darker. So it's just a little weird. That's why I look super, super not bright right now. I don't look very bright. This is less of a good card. I think let's actually look for another. This is fine. We'll get a combo play for three. These three attack guys are so strong against Rust Bolt. He has really no way of dealing with these for his ultimate. You spin me a rice. We're playing this in two, so we have options to the left or the right. I'll probably put the three damage to the left. Uh, I'm in a different streaming from a different place right now. I can probably adjust my, my camera a little bit to... There's something called backlight compensation. This is without, so this is definitely better. I can turn up the brightness a drop. Uh, The white balance? Nah, it's fine. You look fine, Fry. Stop being so self-conscious about your appearances. Is PZ Heroes getting an update? Not that I know of. But at least they under they know that the servers are down, so that's a good that's a good one. You look smexy, Fry. Stop being so simpy, exactly. You say? Jeez. <laughs> Nothing really helps us here. That is, this turn five play is gonna be nasty. You nasty. Turn five play, you nasty. Oh no, it triggers stop it up. <laughs> you fool! You fallen for my play! That's probably still a good idea.
Uh, didn't you say yesterday, Fry, that today's streams can be with viewers? They're having server problems. I don't think PvP is working at all today. I was able to get multiplayer, ranked multiplayer to work though, so that's a good, good news. It's not a fail, guys. It's a good play. Stomp it on goes in two because it chomps its way through. Goes in two because it chomps its way through. <laughs> that doesn't matter. I, I don't think we go face here. I think we'll go face with the onion rings and stuff next turn, though. That is for certain. <laughs> These poppies are gonna be zero cost four fours. This is incredible. Eat him! Fight him! Why two B Rex? Would two hammer be better? Wouldn't hammers be better than B Rex? B Rex does a lot of damage. Like, this is a real big threat on the field right now, I think. I don't think hammers would be better. That's just me. Let's let's just take the eight damage and go face. We have lethal in in, in two lanes now. We should win here. Uh, these obviously go in the back because they are team ups, and this also heals us up to twenty. Look at this! <laughs> Look at this field. Kite flyer. He needs to block both lanes. He has three brains to block two. It's impossible. We got him. Heal. Nerf. Nerf. Wrong. He must have a beam me up. He must have a beam me up. It does save him though. No! He nerfed the wrong one. Now it's guaranteed lead. That was such a fail. He totally could have blocked and gone back into this game. I mean, he has stomping on. He has card advantage. What are you doing? You nerfed lane one, obviously. Oh, that was that's going in the fail comp. That is that that is such a bad play. That is such a bad play. He ended up rolling a one anyway. Eh, still. No, that that's. that's so that's game, uh... <laughs> did I just go up to, like, Ultimate League or something? What lane did I... I just hit Taco, okay. I'm just hearing, like, all the gems racking it up in the background. I have 40,696 gems. Jeez. Nice. It's seven and one now, right? Space and fry. Seven and one. <sighs> Two more games. You beat me up so I can stand on the mountain. The servers are fine now? They just tweeted again? Cool. I wonder how good this is. I think we're just gonna keep this hand. Split P is better than Dothron. Maybe not that much better. Conjure Leap is playable with Super Brains, but it's significantly better with you, Giganticus. Plus, um,. I guess you're running environments anyway. It's, it's fine with Super Brains. Each Giganticus' powers are just better. Now, it turns out that this was the best thing we could have done. We literally are playing two more one drops, two more big threats on the field. Right here, right now. This is probably just like a swashbuckler. The question is, do I want to kill this, kill this card or do I want to do three damage to his face? I feel like this being a three, three, we can always play the the pumpkin here. This this three three is not that good. <sighs> if it's smuggler, then we definitely do this play. Uh, all right. Because swashbuckler, this being a three three is not the end of the world against this in this matchup. Probably going face anyway is more loyal to our win condition, which is being aggro. Plus, this can be smuggler. Um, let's just go face. Plus, we always have an open, like, we always, 3-3 like, is a really bad trade, obviously, against the 2-3, but lane 3 is always open for the pumpkin, for the pumpkin next turn. Oh, baby, we pumpkin. We pumpkin and we pumpkin. Uh, super stench would be strong. It kills this guy as well, though. It's still the right play. Didn't have it. So, he probably did not have infinity clones, or else he would have played that on 1. 
Um, strength, he did not have an opportunity to play. We're going to hold on to the Scourge for sure. Uh, then there's Encrypt and Deadly. Deadly he would have played there, I think. Unless he really needs that, that guy to live. So I'm going to presume he either has Encrypt or Strength. Strength he didn't have a play for. You beat me up so I can stand on a mountain. So this does 5 to face. This does 3 plus... This does 3 plus 4. This has got to be the play. These trade pretty well. It's just gonna be a flame face. Uh, against flame face, this poppy does nothing, so. It's lined. Okay, that's okay. That's fine. This still actually gets the four damage in. Uh, if we roll a one here, he'll be down to two with empty block meter, which is fan freaking fantastic. Rolls a two. Still pretty good. Three lanes open. <laughs> Guys, this is a good. This was a great. Yeah, you know, sometimes we have a bad idea. This was a great idea. This is just gonna be two more pirates. They can't be Pogo. So I, I, I think, I think we just win. Um, let's actually take this out now. We definitely want the little buddy going face. Instead of the onion ring, since we'd rather this to be taking damage since this one's better. But it's swashbuckler and another swash or flame face. Monkey pirate would have been the best thing for him to get, but he did not get a monkey pirate today. He strengths that up. We should win here. Got him. Oh, this is so good! We also have the 4 4 pumpkin for next turn. I mean, fantastic. It didn't even feel like he was gonna roll a three that time. You just, sometimes you just get that feeling. It felt like today, seems like, uh, I know we've had two very unlucky moments today, but. The first one was the Zombot, the second one was Holo Florence, a double plant food. <laughs> we were gonna play Onion Rings the next day. But anyway. Would this deck be better with Repeat Moss? I don't think so. We can try Onion Rings Repeat Moss with a different hero. Maybe that's valid. I'll, I'll, I'll give it a whack, actually. Who would have good one-cost spells? Slash for Captain. Here's Brainstorm. I'd love if this worked. This is really weak against Brainstorm. This is a good hand. The 2-3 the isn't that bad. It doesn't have the great ways of dealing. All the damage. Let's go here. When did I start playing PvZ Heroes? 20, we're talking about June 2016, approximately. So I've been playing for over four years. He has, uh oh, Bungie. Bungie Plumber is the weakness to aggro. One of the best cards in the game. Let's see what he goes on to. <sighs> Chances of having second Bungie, not very likely. I think we'll just live and die with the aggro here. If we had onion rings, seriously right now, since we saw Bungie on one, if we had onion rings, I would have passed there. And just played it like an onion rings day. Now he drew cards. Trickster's at seven. Um, so we don't have the, like, it, it, even if we just top taken onion rings, I would still be going for it. This is a really, really, we're in a really, really bad spot right now. I I'm gonna go for this because he needs exactly a fruitcake to take it out, so this still could live. Like, even teleporting something in is not gonna block this. Teleport barrel is pretty common on three. Wow. Um, I guess that's better than, well, it would have been an elderberry target. That, it doesn't really matter. That would have had zero attack either way. So he gets alien ooze, which is the best control card. It's really the best card to get from Haunted Pumpkin because it's a control card, a, a good control card. We are super screwed right now. I, I think we need to get an onion rings or we're just going to lose. Right now his trickster is at five. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> I'll play Astrakado, there's no reason not to. I think we let these hit our block. Well, I guess we'll let one hit our block meter because it'll, it'll let him proc the block next turn. 
He got Lightning Bolt from Quasar. Wow. So he gets Alien News from Pumpkin. He gets Lightning Bolt against a 5-3 from Quasar. We are so screwed. Professor Brainstorm Control. Uh, it's so it's it's not only one of the strongest game decks in the game, but against this deck, we've got we just just have nothing to do here. Holy moly! With that, I think we have to keep the block meter full as our number one priority. We'll see if we can. This actually is a little synergy with um, Onion Rings because this would be a four four as well. Uh, let's see what happens here. Try to keep this block meter full for as long as possible. Maybe I should a little buddy just to prevent him from proccing the block. Teleport. It's Trickster. He's just gonna go for it. Did he just top deck that? Did he just top deck that? No. It's teleport. Mm, teleport trick. He's just charging Trickster. No. Didn't make sense. Why would he burn a teleport there? Come on, Onion Rings. We need you. We need you right now. This will get us back into the game. Didn't get it. So now he's just gonna Valkyrie Trickster us right now. Uh, we probably should try to clog every lane here. I guess we'll do this. This is still a very decent play. If he can't answer the 5-3, we're going to really wreck him up. Maybe we'll get another plant food. Let's beam me up. Maybe he doesn't have a trickster. Beam me up. <laughs> He's just got everything. This man's got everything. Okay, so Valk. Valk. I don't know what, what Valk is at. I'm only, I'm only tracking trickster right now. There's no real point in tracking Valk anyway. It's three empty lanes. We got five in, so it's not good enough. Now, this is gonna be active at some point. This does nine, this does nine damage this turn. I feel like if we can get another five, this will actually win with 10. So let's just keep all the lanes clogged again. This is actually winnable. Actually winnable. Maybe I should have played Seed instead of this one. That was a mistake. I should have played Seed. I should have played Seed. That was that was the time you play it. Fruit cake. This was this was a huge mistake. We get in four, though. We have to not hit him anymore and then actually OTK him next turn. This is winnable. This is actually very winnable. Heals. No, it's not. He has... He has Valk. He's BMing me. Jackal Lantern is an aggro card. This does this does ten. We're one off lethal. Is there a way to have a team up here? Yeah, there is actually. Well, no, we should have just put Dr. Pepper. I'm misplaying. I'm just misplaying. That was so stupid. We should have put Dr. Pepper here. We don't want to play the strike through right now. So I'm gonna put this here. And I put little buddy here, I guess. So. He did top deck fruitcake. You check the YouTube stream, man. Teleport Valk is not active. We, we really might win. He doesn't have enough to play. He can play Trickster, but it doesn't do a, a lot. That's fine. We're actually gonna win this game now. We got two. We have three empty lanes. He needs Mustache, another Mustache, because this one does not is not empty. He needs Mustache Valk immediately in order to even survive here. Please, please, please. No, it's only 10. He got the Valk late. 
we win we guys this is the this is the miracle there's no way we should have won this game are you kidding me that is such a great way to end the stream that is incre that is an absolute miracle you know what he just did not get his valks and his tricksters he's running the best the best deck in the game you have to hard mulligan for one of them maybe he's not running card draw and he just did not get i cannot believe i cannot believe we won that game fantastic fan freaking ted that's nine and one and again remember the one game we lost <laughs> this should have been 10 and 0 this was absolutely fantastic holy moly with this game i should upload this to youtube immediately valk was only at 10 because he got it late he didn't have it in the starting hand there that was of course this is going on youtube this is one of the greatest streams this deck idea i you know what i apologize i should write down people's names when they give me a deck idea someone sent me again it wasn't this exact deck list um but they sent me sort of this deck with haunted pumpkins and bonk choice and then onion rings and poppy it had all those things in it for sure and i was like yes when i saw that they weren't even presenting it as an aggro deck and i, I saw that i was like wow that's actually a really really neat idea to do the uh, the onion rings it was perfect i mean it just utilizes these little nothing cards which are usually like bonked like not very good in the late game poppy like what are you going to do with it and just like reactivates them around turn five I, I just feel like this can completely change the way um that we play aggro sort of in this game of like making this whole backup plan that revitalizes i know they're doing the pirate's booty copy paste in the chat that's just happening over there just a way to revitalize all of your one drops later in the game. Man, on your rings. So strong. Hope you guys enjoyed. That was an amazing stream. Peace. This is Fry.